also this week i really wanted to focus on eating more of a pescatarian style diet starting off i picked up some broccoli uh, i also picked up some salmon and this is the alaskan barbecue cut style this is actually like my favorite cut um to buy of salmon uh, i just feel like it's a little bit more proportioned out for meal prepping and it's really great for like pan searing as well if you want to get like a nice crisp on it so i really like that some yellow squash i also picked up <laughs> hella oranges you know vitamin c it's flu season covid season um yeah you can't go wrong with this so i'm actually going to be juicing my oranges and i will link the video um just so you all can see a few of the juice recipes that i'm using some lemons i feel like lemons are really great to you know do lemon water with and things of that sort but it's really great for flavor as well uh, i also picked up some brown rice medley um this has well it's a rice medley rather so it has brown rice red rice and black barley in it so that is really yummy they also have this <laughs> and it's funny because i actually have most of these seeds i have these three here already uh but they have a cocoa cinnamon sugar blend which sound fire and um an italian style sprinkle seasoning with fennel so i think this would be like really good on if you wanted to make like a personal pizza or something along those lines which i plan on doing for myself this week so that's kind of why i bought it um picked up some of these pitted medjool dates i really like dates uh, if you want something a bit more sweet or when i want my protein shakes it tastes more like a shake this is like the secret ingredient to get it like that apples and this is going to be for really uh my oatmeal in the morning some ginger some carrots i really like the ginger orange and carrot combo for juices and juicing so um yeah i also picked up some of these mini hold the cone ice creams from trader joe's uh this is the vanilla flavor they also have peppermint they had a chocolate chip and they also had a chocolate but vanilla i'm basic so and lastly i picked up some shrimp Ryan Little. <laughs>
top of my salmon is this jerk teriyaki marinade. Um, so I just take one scoop of the jerk sauce by Walker's Wood. Um, and then I take a little bit of the island soyaki. Um, this is 35 calories per tablespoon. So it's a really great way to not go overboard but still get some flavor. And then I have this Japanese barbecue sauce. This also, one tablespoon is 35 calories. So I'm gonna mix these three together and put it on top once my salmon is done searing. And it'll go into the oven for about, <coughs> sorry, smoky in here. Uh, probably about like eight minutes, not too long. So like I said, I'm all about the quick meals. So. It's a gloomy day. I'm done juicing I always like to push this through a or <laughs> drain it again like with a strainer um, so this just catches any extra pulp I am just am not a fan of pulp um, so yeah comment below do you like pulp do you hate pulp because I'm just I don't I don't get it you all so it is dinner time and I'm getting ready to make me some ramen this is an organic millet and brown rice ramen it comes like this <laughs> and then they are a hundred and twenty calories so I didn't have my shrimp from yesterday and yeah I just thawed this out in some cold water I have some ground cayenne pepper, uh, this Chesapeake Bay seasoning I picked up from the Amish market, uh, McCormick, uh, this is their garlic and onion, yeah, black pepper and sea salt. Uh, so I'm really not going to put pepper and salt in here. Uh, smoked paprika, crushed red pepper. 
and then I just feel like a little honey might be good on it so we'll see and then I have some basil key lime cilantro and spring onion so those are gonna go in as well to take the tails off before I eat them I promise <laughs> I just do that so it can hold in some of the moisture um, in the shrimp because these were like already cooked Trader Joe's was completely out of like the regular raw um, shrimp so had to get this this week I uh, put turmeric in here because it has really great anti-inflammatory properties so you know just as far as keeping your body healthy, you should definitely, it's like an easy thing to add to your food. Like, and it actually has a pretty good taste as well. So, all right, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> 